Stream. I am Samuel, and this is Dusty, aka Dirty Road Three Two Six. And today we are going to be live streaming a game against a Branford uh, Middle School. That is correct. Yep. Uh, we have actually went up against them in the past, and we actually did pretty well against them. I think it was even, right? Uh, I think so. You you were a player during then, so. You would have the best knowledge. But anyway, so we are going to be, or we are currently waiting for Brantford and for our teams to join the game. So Sam, what do you expect to see today? I'm expecting to see a lot of improvement on both ends because I know for a fact that we have been training and so has Brantford. We're kind of like somewhat friends, somewhat rivals with Brantford. Where like, whenever we go up against them, it's kind of like, oh, hey, we're going up against Brantford and stuff. Because uh, Brantford, the school, is also part of Swanee County. Yeah. I actually find that quite odd that Swanee County has two different schools. Yeah. It, it might be due to the fact that Swanee is like a very large county. It is pretty big. Although it's not the largest county. Not the largest, but it's a decent sized county. Like Jacksonville? That county is massive. And it's just taken up by Jacksonville mainly. Mainly Jacksonville. Actually, um it used to be where Jacksonville was the county. Yeah. But anyway. We are still waiting for Branford to show up. Oh, and actually, speaking of the whole, like, seeing new thing, um, I am expecting to see new players for the Branford team, because it has been a while, it's been a whole, like, year, ever since I've seen Branford play, because whenever I started, like, shoutcasting, we had this competition, and it seems that, oh. Oh, the game is starting. Yeah, game is starting. Anyway, Homestead Bandit with a kickoff, instantly getting a goal, probably due to the fact that Brantford did join a little yeah, bit late. Yeah, Brantford couldn't get in, I guess, till later. Yep. Anyway, so the current players for Brantford is VYNPYA, BVOLVD110011, and, and Alejandro7000. 631. Or 763, because sometimes people like... Yeah, 7631. Oh, yeah, 7631. Because sometimes people like actually like 7,000 or just just the numbers. Looks like one of Swanee's players just left. Or he Ooh. lost connection. I think that was probably due to... Maybe he had his settings on too high? And school Wi-Fi. Yeah, timeout, guys. Tech issue. From what I can assume, Coach... Fox Autic is the coach for the Branford team. Not Branford team, we've seen him before. Oh, really? Yeah, he's one of our coaches. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. Looks like for n no apparent reason, Branford is still playing. Even though they said to jump out. It will be quite the shame if they end up playing this entire thing without us being there. Yeah. I BVD LVD they... was very tempted. They, they they said jump out, but... Why are they just standing there? I don't don't know. It looks like we're having technical difficulties. Well, only one player got out due to technical difficulties, but that really doesn't mean that this entire game should continue. Yeah. I remember in the uh, old rules for, like, the Scholastic Esports League, which was, like, a year ago, For the rules for that league was 
if someone left during like a certain time period in the game, you couldn't join back. Yeah. This is just starting to look like very awkward at this moment because they're just si they're just sitting there, but I'm not even sure if they're supposed to be. I don't think they are. I think they're supposed to. They should have left. <coughs> no, at least they were supposed to. Because remember, coach, f considering that he's the players probably have communication with him. Most likely. Coach thoughts on it, so. Him texting, I'm mean, typing chat, would mean that that's mainly telling Branford, like, hey, Branford. But Branford did not listen to that and is now running around collecting boosts. Kind of an odd waste of time, in my opinion. I, I don't think they're mean to collect boosts, but they're just trying to race around the racetrack. Well, not Alejandro, but. Wait, is there, is this, yeah, no, this is a racetrack map. Looks like for some reason, Homestead mm -hmm. Bandit and Crisp294 did a eventually join back. Oh. So I guess they were supposed to stay, and Branford having all of their players all on the left side eventually caught up to them, because SMS almost got the goal there. Wait, is Quispy Dinos in yet? Yeah. Uh, Quispy Dinos I don't think is in yet. Wait, yeah, no, he isn't. I find that quite odd, but it's all right. All right, so Homestead Banda getting the de getting the demo on V Y N P Y A. It's almost like they're trying to like make the shoutcasters mispronounce their name. Yeah. Because if you can see right here, or anyway, Alejandro seven six three one did score. Although, would we count the first goal? I. I don't know. I don't think so. Because, technically speaking, could they get disqualified for getting one extra goal? Because I don't think that they got that... Uh, I don't think this match, this match counts because the timer, first of all, and the goals. I think it does count, but it's kind of petty because I, if you remember correctly, they did actually have... Like a thing where they did score once whenever all the players were gone. That and the time as well. That's why it's unfair is the time now. Yeah. Because that leaves less time. So I I don't think this one's going to be counted. It, it, it probably will because it has before. Games like this have counted before. I don't understand why, but they just do. Yeah. It's honestly a thing that I should be able to complain about, but there's not there's no one I can complain to about this. Mm. Like they should have just restarted the entire match because <coughs> they they ended exactly. up reducing their entire timer by two minutes, which gives the opposing team no chance of winning. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm not sure if this is gonna be counted. Um, the current camera is not very optimal for us being able to see. Yeah. Actually, speaking of, like, it not being fair, SMS only has two players right now. That as well. And Branford, I'm pretty sure, got one extra goal, and I'd have to recheck, I, I'd have to check the video afterhand. But I could have sworn that they did, in fact, get an extra goal for no reason. Oh, come on. That's just... shameful that even after all of that, he just... goes and just boosts right in front of the camera. What, is that a toxic term? Or I a mean, toxic action? Basically, especially when you're playing an unfair game. Like what happened right here. And I find it funny. They're over here, like, still want to even count this yet. I think he was the one who did to get that extra goal in. Yeah. Anyway, we will be waiting for the third player. 
but I just find it funny. Like, it, it that entire match was a complete like. Oh, Qu Quispy Dinos actually came back at like the last second, but like that entire match was just a waste of time. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to be doing a now match that counts if the other guy joins in, and he did. What are the chances that the the letter combinations that those player names have actually mean something? I wonder. I mean, BVDLVD could be Boulevard. Probably, but I don't know. It's probably just like really weird terminology that I don't know. Yeah. And also the zeros and ones. That has to be like a number or something. Maybe binary. Yeah, I I think it's a binary combination. I mean, I could solve it if I look at it. So far, nothing interesting happening right now. Just a typical game for Rocket League. Yeah. Other than Alejandro completely demolishing that other person. I think I can already guess roles right off the bat. Alejandro is definitely the offensive player. Yeah. Uh, VYN, maybe he's the goalie? I... Do not know for sure. I don't think so. But it, he may be. Anyway. So, what I'm seeing so far is... Mainly Alejandro is kind of carrying the team on his back. Other than the fact that VYN, PYA... I think that was a pinch, right? Alright, so no, if... Wait, that was a pinch. If, uh, I'm not even going to try to say it all right now, but BVDLVD is using binary. The last uh, digits are 51. Hmm. Good to know. Yeah, whenever I said before that Alejandro was definitely the offensive player, this is what I mean. Yeah. Although, I have seen better offenses. A lot better. Which, is our team play? I don't think our team's playing adaptive. I think these are two more, like, rookie-ish teams. Teams that are, yeah. like, a little bit of the, like, not the best of the best teams. Yeah. Anyway, so what I am seeing so far is, wait, is BVD even doing anything? Because I uh, have- He only has a score of six, actually. I've only been seeing him, like, rarely. Oh, he got a shot in his own goal. Anyway. Yeah, definitely I have seen better, because thi this is, if I could put it, sort of boring, because yeah. there, there's no real, like, action. What I'm mainly seeing, it, this looks like whenever uh, I'm playing, like, public lobbies in Rocket League, this kind of, like, has that sort of same energy. Yeah. Like, you go up on a game with a bunch of random people or something. Yeah. There's no, like, emotion to the game. There's mainly just, like, oh, hey, this guy bounced the, uh, the ball off the wall and then it ended up going into the goal. Oh, this guy, he was able to pinch the ball off of the enemy's car or something, and it ended up getting in the goal, which happened, but... Yeah. Just, there, there's nothing really here that's, like, 
point out. Not much has been happening yet. It's, yeah, it's kind of like adaptive. a lack of action. Yeah, it appears that we don't have adaptive. I think we have... We, we, we shouldn't even care about adaptive at this point. There's just nothing going on. Yeah. Like, best I could say is Homestead Bandit tried the pinch there. But, like... For example, right now, what Homestead Bandit did... I think Homestead Bandit is in a different team than he usually is in. Because, if you see here, like, that wasn't the best play, but that ended up working in his favor by just rushing up to the side and, like, having the ball bounce off of his car. But I think Homestead Bandit is playing with a team that he has no idea how to play with. Be yeah. I am... Um, if... Well, I'm gonna tell a story. So... Two years ago, or three years ago, whenever I was in the sixth grade, I'm an eighth grader now. Whenever I was a sixth grader, I was actually a player, not the shoutcaster. The shoutcaster was some eighth grader, I do not remember who. But, what I do know is, I had a very similar scenario, where I was playing in a league game like this one, and... All of a sudden, like, I get put with this team, and they have no idea what they're doing. Like, I'm trying to tell them, like, what to do, and like, oh, hey, like, you should you should do this more. But they just don't listen, and I feel like that's probably what's happening here. Yeah. I, I can kind of connect with Homestead Bandit right now, because I've seen him do better. But right now, like, I think it's mainly the team can't really, they're not good together. Anyway, Homestead Bandit did eventually get the goal there, making a huge comeback. But I'm pretty sure that this will eventually go into overtime be yeah. due to the sheer, like, the literal severe lack of time. Yeah. I feel like the only way that I won it is a kickoff goal. Hmm. Now, uh, Homestead Bandit saying that, uh, that they're going to make come back which yeah but it's a little too early to kind of say that especially when Alejandro was right next to the goal I forgot when overtime kits in that resets whatever play you're on yeah overtime just does that sometimes I've not understood it sometimes I'm like well it makes sense yeah So far, SMS is actually holding their own really well here. Yeah. Can yeah, what? on blue side right now. Yeah, uh, remember how I told you that Alejandro, like, could have done a little bit better in the offense department? Yeah. Ooh. Well, if you saw, like, a few seconds before, Alejandro just literally hit the ball into one of SMS's players, no. which ah, ended ooh. up not working in their favor. Uh, and so, if we see here, Alejandro tried to take the shot. That just bounced right off, and then VYNPYA did eventually get the goal. But that did take a lot of time. And that's a point for Brantford. A point, because I don't think the last one counted. Yeah, I, I think they actually said that, like, this, that, or the previous match didn't count. So. But, like, I feel like Homestead Bandit just feels uncomfortable. Yeah. Because I've been put in a similar situation, and it was horrible. Same. Now, no disrespect to Crisp or Quispy Dinos, but it's just, like, I, I, I've seen him do better. Yeah, um... One thing about the situation is, I've been in the situation, but instead of, like, the guy, like, saying stuff, he wasn't, like, just being, like, yeah, this would be, like, perfect. He was, like, almost demanding it at that point. Yeah. 
Well, sometimes you do have to demand something to get it. Sometimes, but, like, without any of the team's opinion, just, like... No, if it's something necessary, then yeah, but this wasn't really necessary. Anyway, this will be the second match for the game against Brantford. Seems that Crispy Dino and VYNPYA somehow hit the ball at the exact same time. Yeah. Now, most of the time, it would be if you're the one to hit the ball first, you've basically screwed yourself over. Because there's this thing called Rocket League physics hmm. where whenever the ball bounces, it gets faster no matter what. So if it's constantly bouncing from like one car to another really fast, it'll start gaining a lot of speed. Yeah. Which I really do not understand. Because technically speaking, if you hit a ball hard enough and then like all of a sudden someone kicks it the other direction, it shouldn't go faster. It should either A, like, go a similar, if not like a little bit faster speed, or it should just stop entirely, like what happened with VY, VYN and that other person. Well, Rocket League has physics, just not good fit. Well, by not good, I mean not realistic and sometimes very bloody. Yeah, especially with the fact that somehow a car can fling a ball into the air, and gravity doesn't take effect as much. It's probably like because that ball, the second that it stopped being in the air, it would go down really fast. It's probably anyway, like a helium ball. Not gonna lie. Probably like a very lightweight gas. Anyway, Homestead Bandit gets the goal there by just literally kicking the ball, and then it just rolls across the ground. I'm surprised that Branford didn't like get that. Yeah. Anyways, that puts us at a point advantage. Anyway, uh, speaking of... I'm surprised how Branford didn't get it. Another story time. Or at least, like, a mention. Whenever I was a player, um... I think I was goalie most of the time. And we kind of had this psychology where, like... The person who spawns closest to the goal will be the goalie. Now, speaking of goalie, Branford doesn't have one. Yeah. If we look over there, you could call that a defender, but not a goalie. But do we have a goalie right now? Uh, no. No, because our players are currently trying to rush. Mm, not good, because, yep. W well, uh, some moments the like East, the SMS players did. W they were able to get back in time, but, but with Branford basically showing how they can throw the ball really fast when you least expect it, you kind of have to have a goalie. And Homestead gets the score with the goal. Actually, another thing about like ha a rush being really bad what if you accidentally hit one of your teammates and you both start flying in the air and you can't move because there's a thing called you only get an air jump once and if you have no boost you're not moving yeah Alright, we have two minutes left, and we have a two-point advantage. Never mind, a one-point advantage with Alejandro scoring. A little bit more action with that goal than before, but I would say that if they were to be in, like, any ranked game mode in Rocket League, I'd say they'd either be, like, mid-tier gold, or low platinum tier. Because most diamond players would go for a lot of aerials or they'd be like mixed in a way where they would either be on the ground half the time or they'd be in the air half the time. Yeah. 
Then again, Sam, you talking about gravity? Cars driving on walls? Is that lawn? The only explanation that I could have for the cars being able to literally stick to the walls is what if those walls are magnetic? No, because you still... If you don't hold any inputs, you'll just slide down, so... Well, then the only thing that I would have to say for that is maybe, like, inertia. Where, like, all that force is helping you with, like, breaking gravity. Because your car is, like, going so fast. But eventually you'll just stop. Yeah. Which then again about your magnetized theory. If you drop the wall and actually get on t top of the roof, you just immediately fall. Well, a good explanation for that is, like, of course they wouldn't want people to be literally driving on the roof, so they but would probably make the walls magnetized, but not the roof. But, but, but why would they want them driving on the walls? Have Either. you ever heard of something called, you want the fans to be really excited seeing a literal car drive across a wall? I want to see one drive on it, the roof. It's all about marketing. And there goes Chris with a goal. Which yep. puts us back at our two point advantage with no comeback for Brantford. Here. Now, after this match, it all comes down to if Brantford will be able to win, like, the next match. Because then it would be, I think it's called match point. No. It's whoever wins. Oh, uh, this upcoming one wins. I know. Match point is right, where if someone yeah. wins another match, the whole game ends, and someone wins, someone loses. Yeah. Anyway, a great, like, adapt to Branford's play there by SMS. I thought you were saying that if Branford won, that it would be, but no. I and we should be loading into the new game in s less than 30 seconds. Yep. Um, let's hope the SMS can redo what they just did. Well, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to, because there's also the chance that Branford gets used to how, like, SMS is playing, and they end up winning the next match. Yeah. One of our players of that had 496 ping. And oh. it's still at 100. I think that's Homestead Bandit. Yeah. And we all thought that Quispy Dino had the technical problems. <laughs> Alright, and the match begins in 3, 2, 1, go. Same thing as before with uh Quisp or with Quisp and V Y N both hitting the ball at the exact same time. Yeah. I think I'll just call V Y N I'll I think I'll just call him V and B B, B V D I'll just call him B. And Alejandro I'll call Alejandro because Alejandro is an actual name that I can pronounce. So, when it, so anyway, B over here is, or actually, no, V is right now being very aggressive, almost as much as Alejandro during the first game, or first match, I mean. Yeah. Crispy Dinos, oh, looks like Homestead Bandit, with the assistance of Crispy Dinos, was actually able to get that goal there. No, that was a pretty good pass. I think, I don't think it was a pass. I think Crispy was trying to get it. But the Homestead Bandit probably, like, predicted that the Branford team was going to hit it that way, and then he actually got it. Mm, or that. Pretty smart play there, in my opinion. Yeah. It is now on blue side. With V trying to keep it away from the goal, but... Yeah, V is really trying this match. 
Well, to be fair, if SMS wins this match, they win the entire game. So but if Branford wins this match... Now, that won. doesn't mean that SMS will win the Conquest. However, them actually winning this game would help with them winning the Conquest. Because you have to win, um... Three games to win a conquest. Uh. And for those who don't know, a conquest is actually a um, basically a conquest is like one team versus another in like a league. So right now we we're having a conquest against a brand. Well, actually, this is technically a scrimmage. Technically a scrimmage, but we'll call it a conquest. But it's actually a, best a, out of three, not a, first two. Anyway, so what I was saying was, so Brantford, or well, the Conquest is like a collection of games. We're right now uh, streaming one of these games, and if SMS wins this game, they become like a lot closer to winning the whole Conquest than if they didn't win. Yeah. Anyway. So far, the score is 0-1 to one with about 2 minutes left. Yeah, there's still a chance for comeback easily. Yep. Although, I'm not sure if Branford is going to be able to take it. Because if we see here, V kind of messed up that aerial a little bit. Although, we did actually get the demo there. Chris pitting it on blue side. Homestead Bandit with the demo. That's the orange. Chris trying to save it. Chris still trying with the help of Homestead. And V blocked it. Looks like Homestead Bandit actually got the second goal there, making the chances of us winning this basically double. Yeah, because our our timer also decreased. What I'd say that SMS should do is still try to play a little bit normally, but try to focus a little bit more on defense. Yeah. Because if Brantford can't get another goal, then that will be really great for us. Yeah, because then we'd win. It kind of makes me think of how, like, some people think that, like, you should just try to get in as many goals as possible to, like, make it so that they couldn't possibly get enough goals to come back. Which, it's a strategy, but I'm not sure if it's a very safe one to use. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, you are, in fact, getting so many goals that the opposing team couldn't possibly come back. But what if they do? Homestead scoring it, almost missing. Almost missing, in fact. However, the ball probably was like, you know what, I'm just going to go in. And then it did. As you can see by the goal explosion. Now, I'm pretty sure that Branford has lost this one. However, we will have to see. Yeah. Unless Branford somehow just, like, gets a third no, eye. No, possible. If Branford somehow gets, like, a third eye and perfects teamwork and somehow gets three goals in nine seconds. Well, now it's, like... That's still impossible. It's like three seconds. Um, yeah, I think this will probably be GG. Maybe Branford can get it? Six seconds is... For those who cannot oh, hear, so. our players are celebrating. Yeah. They are really celebrating out there. Anyway, that is good game for us. And... Seems that we have won this game against Branford. But we have another game coming up. Yep, I think that's about... Uh, I think that's against North Broward Prep. No. Is 
they are really happy that they else, beat Brantford. <laughs> anyway, I am Samuel, and this is Dusty, aka Dirty Road Three Two Sits. And we would like to thank you for watching this stream, and we will be probably right back with another stream.